Okay. Good evening, everyone. First, we'll thank the Pledge of Allegiance, but, and afterwards, we'll have a moment of silence for Frank Chimont, while McDonald Walker, whose dispatch will be lost this past week. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Motion to open a public hearing. This is my second. All in favor? Right. Okay, Madam Clark. Notice is hereby given that there has been introduced before the town board of the town of Walk Hill a local law entitled a local law providing for the administration and enforcement of the New York State Uniform Fire Prevention and Building Code, the Uniform Co Code, and the State Energy Conservation Construction Code, the Energy Code, in the town of Walk Hill. Please take notice that a public hearing will be held by the town board of the town of Walk Hill on December 15th, 2022 at 7.25 p.m. at Walk Hill Town Hall, 99 Tower Drive, Building A, Middletown, New York, to consider the adoption of the aforesaid introductory local law. Any resident of the town of Walk is entitled to be heard upon said proposed local law at such public hearing. Copies are available for review at Walk Hill Town Hall. The town of Walk Hill make every effort to assure the hearing is accessible to persons with disabilities. Anyone requiring special assistance and or reasonable accommodation should contact the town clerk. By order of the town board of the town of Walk Hill, Louise Ingracia, town clerk. Thank you. Um, this is a law that we have to do in order to enforce the town code and the New York State code. Um, and uh, Brian, I tell you, I'll just speak briefly on the law. Thank, thank you, uh, Supervisor. So the New York State has a statewide code for building standards, fire prevention, energy conservation, and safety that applies everywhere in the state outside of New York City. And so every municipality adopts these codes as the primary tool of enforcement for building inspectors and code enforcement officers. And every time the New York State makes updates and changes to the code, you know, towns then make uh, local laws that adopt the uniform codes as updated so they can continue to enforce these provisions for all building construction and inspection in the municipality. Thank you. Um, anyone on Zoom you like to comment? Anyone in the audience? Anyone on Zoom? Being there's none, I make a motion to close the meeting. Second. All in favor? Aye. Um, I know the agenda has a war presentation. Uh, we decided to do it to the weather. This will be uh, done at our next town board meeting on January, in January. So we'll continue to next, which is uh, the results of the Town Walk Hill Holiday Home Decorating Contest. And Ward 1, 20 Ellis Elise Drive, George Jorge Hernandez, and Lauren Rocco. Congratulations. Ward 2, 20. Ren Prashire Drive. 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 <laughs> um, and Ward 3, it's 8 Shackbark Street, Roseanne and Carlos Papigallo. And Ward 4 is 27 Delane Ecapalas. Congratulations. Um, the 
certificates will be mailed out to these individuals. Again, yeah, Chen, Supervisor, just one thing. I just need to verify that I have to. Um, so it's on record, so I drive on that sort of Okay. Um, congratulations to the winners. Thank you for participating. And um, they'll be sent out to you. Anyone gets a chance to go out there, they should go and uh, see these homes. Again, uh, Tom Dosworth, who was going to give us a, a moment in history, is not here today. Uh, next, we got public participation on agenda items only. Anyone on Zoom? Anyone in the audience? Hold on. Madam Clerk, you're up with the resolutions. Resolution of the chat of the town board of the town of Hawkeye adopting local law number six of 2022, providing for the administration and enforcement of the New York State Uniform Fire Prevention and Building Code, the Uniform Code, and the State Energy Conservation Construction Code, Energy Code in the town of Hawkeye. Resolved that the town clerk it be and as she is hereby directed to enter said local law in the minutes of this meeting in the local law book of the town of Wallkill and give due notice of the adoption of the local law to the Secretary of State of the State of New York. May I have a motion? So Mr. Coyne? Yes. Mr. Valentin? Yes. Mr. My Mr. Meyer? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Supervisor Serrano? Yes. Resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Walkill authorizing the Town Supervisor to execute an outside vendor contract with Pets Alive Incorporated. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Walkill hereby authorizes the Town Supervisor to execute a certain agreement with Pets Alive Incorporated for the housing and care of stray animals within the Town of Walkill, pursuant to the Annex Contract for 2023 calendar year, along with any other appropriate documents to effectuate the intent of this resolution, all of which shall be subject to review and approval by the town attorney. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Coyne? Yes. Mr. Valentin? Yes. Mr. Meyer? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Supervisor Serrano? Yes. Resolution of the town board of the town of Walkill appointing a full-time dial -a bus driver. Resolve the town board of the town of Walkill yeah. who appoints Cindy our trip to the position of full-time driver to serve in said capacity at the Town of Walkill Transportation Department at a starting hourly rate of $20.45 per hour, effective January 3rd, 2023, pending the passage of all required testing under New York State Vehicle and Traffic Law, Article 19A in the Town of Walkill Drug and Alcohol Policy, as same relates to bus drivers, and the submission and approval of the Orange County Department of Human Resources Civil Service for all appropriate documentation. We have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Mr. Coyne. Yes. Mr. Valentin. Yes. Mr. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Supervisor Serrano. Yes. Resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Walkill authorizing the replacement of the letter of credit being held by the town with respect to residences at West Hills Country Club LLC project with a cash escrow. Uh, town supervisor as designee is authorized to execute any necessary documents associated with, the, associated with the foregoing once any unpaid inspection fees, professional fee invoices, or other outstanding or unpaid fees due to the town are paid in full. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Coyne? Yes. Mr. Valentin? Yes. Mr. Meyer? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Supervisor Serrano? Yes. Resolution of the Town Board of the Town of Volca authorizing the Town Supervisor to execute an outside vendor contract with the Humane Society of Port Jervis Deer Park Incorporated. Resolve the Town Board of the Town of Walkill hereby authorizes the Town Supervisor to execute a certain agreement with the Humane Society of Port Jervis Deer Park Incorporated for the housing and care of stray animals within the Town of Walkill pursuant to the Annex Contract for 2023 calendar year, along with any other appropriate documents to effectuate the intent of this resolution, all of which shall be subject to review and approval by the Town Attorney. May I have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Mr. Coyne? Yes. Mr. Valentin? Yes. 
Yes. Mr. Meyer. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Supervisor Serrano. Yes. That's all I have, gentlemen. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Start with Councilman Comments. We'll start with Councilman Johnson. Thank you, Supervisor. So, the building department for the month of November uh, issued 146 building permits, um, certificates of occupancy and completion issued were 74. Total fees collected were $54,000, uh, $54,112,000. Addressed 39 complaints and carried out 838 inspections. Uh, a welcome to Javier Rojas, who is the new part time code enforcement officer who started on December 12th. And the building department would like to wish everyone a happy holiday season. Remind all residents who utilize wood and or pellet stoves to make sure your chimneys have been cleaned to prevent fires and also make sure that your smoke and CO detectors um, are operable as intended. Uh, water and sewer, another busy month as always for that, those, that department. Uh, several water service leaks that need to be repaired. Uh, the leaks actually issued, caused issues with the road surfaces. Um, those needed to be addressed to present, prevent further damage as well. Uh, there were three leaks that were detected at private residences and businesses that needed to be repaired. And as always, the department did a great job with minimal downtime. And uh, the town would like to thank the residents for their cooperation and understanding. The um, department has been working with the town's engineers as well as the health department on the trihalomethanes and paleocetic acid issues trying to get those addressed. Um, last month's sampling results should be available soon, and then we'll help in corrective measures to try and address those issues. It is an ongoing process, but please know that the town is working every day on it, to try and get those corrected. The uh, wastewater treatment plant upgrade is finally in the works. Um, pretty much all paperwork has been completed. And um, the only issue now, like everything else, is gonna be materials, uh, supply chain and backlog. Unfortunately, that's kind of the norm of the world at the moment. So that's going to take a little longer than originally anticipated to get that rolling. Uh, the bids for the Western Avenue Pump Station upgrade are in and we will be by the town's engineers. Uh, that project should be awarded shortly and hopefully be underway this spring. And as always, the operation and maintenance of the water and wastewater treatment plants continue on an everyday basis, 365 days a year. Um, so great job by those departments, guys and gals. Uh, for comments, I would just like to wish everyone a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, uh, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Hope that everybody, uh, whatever you celebrate, you get out and enjoy your time with your families and a little time off from work. Um, kick back and relax and appreciate everything you have um, in life around you and friends and family. And uh, be safe and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Meyer. Thank you. Uh, this Sunday is the menorah lighting at uh, 6.30 uh, at the 18th up here at Town Hall, so uh, please stop by and uh, join us in celebration. Uh, my plan is to make homemade vodkas, so uh, if you're interested, stop on by. Um, Orange County uh, provides winter and safety uh, preparation tips. Uh, you can find them located on orangecounty.gov. Um, I was looking at it earlier, uh, given that we are in the middle of a winter storm, um, I think it's a good idea to go to the website, you can check out some of the things that you should have this winter um, that you don't run out of, you know, some of the things, flashlights, batteries, battery power, portable radio, uh, three day supply of food, bottled water, uh, one week supply of essential medicines, first aid kit, those type of things. So uh, check it out. Um, I'll be posting a link on, uh, on the web to this uh, on Facebook this uh, later tonight, so you can all find it. Um, I wanted to take a moment to thank all of the town's wonderful employees and commend them for the amazing work that they do for the residents of this town throughout the year. And I wanna wish them, as well as everybody in our community, a happy and safe holiday season. Thank you. Thank you. Councilman Valentin. Uh, thank you, Supervisor, for our parks. It was short and sweet. We started servicing all ground maintenance equipment for the next season. Started dead tree removals at Clarence Campground and have approximately 23 trees removed already. 
a new discovery office is, is complete, just waiting on magnetic doorbox to be installed. And there's various snow and ice removals going on, um, with, you know, along with the higher department. The plus department is involved in lining up indoor renovation work at the golf course catering facility for January. And they'll be starting public sampling as well as the offices and visiting A and B. Uh, all the employees and, and staff at the parks department wish to wish all our residents a happy and healthy holiday season. Um, well, at least uh, currently we have 50 sworn. 50 full time sworn police officers. Our arrest record to date is down 2.3%, 845 for 2022 versus 865 for the year 2021. Our next police community council meeting, uh, there will be no meeting in January. So the next regular scheduled meeting will be held February 2nd, uh, 2023. Well, police youth coalition the next meeting will be 7 p.m. on on Tuesday, December 20th at the community center. That will be our holiday party. Reminded to all the residents, as far as parking during this snow removal snow season, um, beginning October 1st and continuing through April April 1st, vehicles are not permitted to park on public roads from 12 midnight to 6 a.m. when more than two inches of snow accumulates. And uh, you really, I wish people would really pay attention to this because if you parked out there, it really makes it harder for our um, highway and plows to get around your car. And it's a safety thing. They can get in accidents trying to avoid your car. So be, be conscientious and, and remove those cars from the road when the snow comes. Um, just two, two um, highlights here, two things to, to know. Uh, school safety, to ensure that our schools are prepared to deal with the ever-present threat of violence. On Tuesday, December 13th, members of our police department conducted an active shooter drill with the staff of Maple Hill Elementary School. During the drill, the staff was exposed to a realistic simulation that tested their lockdown capabilities. The school staff that participated performed Adelie, and during the drill, the police department will continue to work with all of the schools in our town to ensure that they are prepared to face any emergency. Um, some scams to be aware of during the season, scams are ever present in our society. Unfortunately, the scammers try to exploit our good nature during the holiday season. For example, the scammers will contact you claiming that money is owed to a government entity and the community. If the intended victim fails to pay, the victim will face prosecution. The scammers will ask the victim to remit payment in unusual ways, such as gift cards. Please don't fall prey to the scammers. If anyone calls you claiming to be from a government organization and demands money, simply ask the person for their name, then call the government, governmental organization in turn to determine if the caller actually works there. And I've touched on this before. Well, this is one of the, the uh, I would say, red lights to, to let you know that you're being scanned when, when someone is asking you for immediate payment and they ask for the payment that can be done in gift cards. There's just no, no such thing. Um, the other thing is if you get something in email or you get a phone call that says, typically emails, you see emails that say, hey, um, there's a package that we failed to deliver and just click on here so we can arrange the delivery. That does not happen. Um, don't click on it. If you're expecting a package for the company um, where you ordered from and ensure that you, all, you probably have a tracking number there and ensure that that um, package is being delivered or hasn't been delivered, but don't click on that. And also uh, emails that tell you that you have to take immediate action on, on this or your account will be closed. That's another um, red light to be aware of. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, credit to Larry Compton. Um, our parade this year was fantastic. It, with all the participants, 
our highway department, our parks department, our, our water and sewer, um, everyone that was engaged, everyone that was involved, Mr. Ingras here, Joe Andre, our supervisor, really worked hard to put this together and it was really a, a nice show. But the biggest show of all was the size of the Christmas tree this year. Poor Charlie Brown tree was, was taken away and our Christmas tree was, was the highlight of the evening. Um, one last thought that, that I wanted to share with everyone. You know, as elected officials, we have a responsibility to make hard decisions. And some of those decisions are, are sometimes pushed upon us and, and with fear of lawsuits, with fear of, of repercussions of what may happen. And that's what that's what the job calls for. So you know, we we make decisions and we look at all the facts, and we cannot cannot be bullied by any agency, by any developer, or anybody else at the threat of a lawsuit if you take this action. Um, what I tell people is that you know that's part of doing the business of the town for the residents, and I much rather make a decision based on the betterment of the residents of this town and the town itself, and then be aware of lawsuit and win or lose, we know that we did the right thing by the town. Um, because that sets a precedent. If the next person will come up and say, you don't do or give me what I want, I will, I will place a lawsuit. And we just cannot be bullied to those things. So um, just wanted to share that thought with everyone. Last but not least, I want to wish everyone a happy and healthy, um, Christmas and New Year, uh, as as previously stated, go and enjoy the time, the special time in, uh, with your family. Uh, it's the one day that I don't mind seeing the mess and the living room and all the paper and the wrapping and everything else. Um, that said, Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, on the pilot, happy Hanukkah and happy Kwanzaa for everyone. God bless. Thank you. <clears throat> Councilman Cole. Okay, I'll start with highway. Um, leaf season is over, and all the leaves have been picked up that will be picked up. Um, the highway garage is now closed on the weekends. We were open there for uh, a few hours on Saturdays. That's now uh, ended. Councilman Valentin already brought up the no parking in the street overnight um, law, and you know talked about how you know for the safety of the driver, safety of your vehicle. But also the fact that, you know, if you get a tremendous amount of snow, you're going to get plowed in. You're going to be stuck there. You're going to wake up at, you know, five, six in the morning and have, you know, three, four feet up against the side of your vehicle. So uh, it would behoove you to put it in your driveway. Um, also for Mike Ormick and the entire uh, highway department, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Moving on to uh, Veterans Affairs. Real quick, from uh, Post 1181 Commander Jim Scally and Post 151 Commander Roger Reed, both want to say, uh, you know, uh, happy holidays and uh, happy new year. Moving on to the assessor's office, a reminder to new homeowners to register with the New York State Department of Tax and Finance to receive the star check. You must register with New York State at 518-457. 2036. At commencement of this assessment inspection cycle, we have inspected 1,105 residential and 59 commercial properties to date. The assessment team is actively collecting new inventory of properties in the town. Some active growth in the town for the 2023 assessment role will include President Container and Direx. And also saying that properly, warehouses, uh, the Village Mart, Sunoco, Fuel and Convenience Store, Adams Fair, Eco Farms, Tower Ridge, Rondé Condominiums, Farrell Communities, West Hills and Slatewood Apartment Complexes, as well as Heritage Hills and Global Road Residential Subdivisions, and the completion of the Scotchtown Estate Subdivision with many more building projects underway. Property tax bills will be mailed out at the end of the month. 
All renewal exemptions have been mailed out and are due back to the assessor's office by March 1st, 2023. If you have not received a renewal, please call the assessor's office. The assessor, Lisa Chucka, and the assessment team can be reached during business, uh, normal business hours at 845-692-7810 for any questions. Um, comments, I just want to comment on the uh, Christmas parade this year. It was fantastic. And yes, the tree is awesome. It's 35 foot tall. Uh, donated by Dogwood Acres and uh, lit up like like the real deal. It's it's really it's a it's a big asset to to our community. The dancers that were performing there, um, the artistic dance connection did a fantastic job as well. Really added something to the show there uh, that was different from prior years. So I think that you know moving forward, this is going to get bigger and better. Every year, um, apparently we have uh, the Dogwood Acres is going to donate a tree for the next five or six years. Larry is lined up, so this is not going away, it's, it, and it's just going to grow. The weather was not great right up until it was step off time. So I imagine next year if we get some uh, <clears throat> get some good weather, favorable weather, and along with the the buzz with, about the tree. This thing is really going to grow, and I, I can't wait to see it. You know, uh, five years from now, it's, it's going to be tremendous. Um, lastly, I'll just say for my family to yours, Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. Happy New Year, everyone be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, first, uh, I just want to say for the holiday parade it was fantastic. No one want to keep his family. Steve Wagner and his family gave us the tree. I've had a lot of people comment to me as they drove by on 17 and they look down and see um, the tree all lit up. I want to throw the trees in front of it. It's really good. So, a big shout out to Dolph Wilkins' family farm. Autistic um, Dance Connection, Town of Walk Hill Rockets, I call them, was fantastic that night and um, it was a great week. Yeah. Um, this past Sunday, we had the toys at top. Um, the weather was a little bad, but there was a lot of people out. Thank you for everyone who came out, everyone who donated the toys. Um, Santa Claus came in and went and out. It was a great, great time out there at the Metro North Station. Um, just to give us a thank you to our BW Highway Parks and Water Store. We've been moved in out since um, early, late afternoon, early evening. And uh, they're going to be out all night keeping our roads clear. So just um, we can stay off the roads for a while, let them clean up. They, thank you to them, and let's hope it's safe out there. Um, just like it was mentioned this past Sunday, this coming Sunday, we have the Miller Lighting at December uh, 6.30. We're in front of the town hall. People can show up. Appreciate it. And then on December 23rd at 7 p.m., we have a Kwanzaa celebration. It's a Friday. It'll be at the, the community center. Um, we have everything lined up. It's going to be a, a nice celebration. Um, that's eight Warren's Warren, eight West Warren. If anyone to show up, appreciate it. And for my family, to everyone out there, to my councilman, to my town and walker employees, my commissioner, my chief, my deputy, my lieutenant, happy holidays. Please be safe, be humble, and be blessed. Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, I just want to thank um, all that again this year made the giving tree successful. Um, we were able to fulfill um, wishes for 25 um, deserving young people. I just want to thank the employees and everybody knows who they are because it's usually the same folks who come and help us every year and a couple of our neighbors who help us. And again, I think um, a lady with the first name of Patty was probably the first lady in line to get her prizes. And I kind of wish I was on the list because she does some good shopping, Mark. Um, thank you yes. to um, my staff recently. I'm sure everybody knows by now that I've been in and out um, battling some health issues myself. 
And I'd like to thank Mercedes, Josie, and Nancy um, for always keeping things rolling. And um, while I can work from home, um, there were days that I didn't, and they took care of a lot of um, the day-to-day. -day. And I know Mercedes, um, George, she was quite helpful to you. Um, she was kind of my stand-in and, and helping you with a few questions that you needed answered. So I just want to thank those ladies um, for really stepping up and, and helping me out. Um, and then I don't know that anybody knew about this, but Target, they call themselves Target of Middletown, we'll call them Target of Walk Hill, adopts families every year. And Mercedes' daughter, Stephanie, is um, not sure what her position is there, but she's with Target of Walk Hill. And they adopted two of our town of Walk Hill families this year. Um, they provided them with um, decorated Christmas trees and with gifts. We took some pictures this morning um, when they brought the gifts up. And there are two families um, that are local to us, um, good friends with, with some of our scout people. And I was hoping that maybe in January, George, we could get those target folks to come over um, and we could thank them because it's just, I forget how many families they help um, throughout the county, um, but I know that they took on two of our families, one family, um, is suffering a tremendous, tremendous loss of their mom. And um, they helped those folks out. And then another family um, that has some new babies to take care of. Um, so maybe we could, um, we'll get all the information together and, and Larry could reach out to Target and we could um, get those folks over. And um, just a Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, hopefully it'll be a Banner year for 2023 or 251 as it'll be known. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner, you're up. Thank you very much, Mr. Supervisor. Just real quick tonight, a couple of general uh, DPW notes. Uh, we mentioned the snowstorms and things like that that we've already experienced. So uh, crews are out there doing a good job. So again, just give them some room and, uh, you know, a uh, reminder about no overnight parking. We spoke about that. Um, today we held our annual DPW training day. Um, we get together once a year to do our mandated training that was held today at the town of Walco Golf Course. It was an awesome event. Um, I want to thank uh, the supervisor for coming out. Councilman Meyer was there. Um, we did recognize some uh, 2022 outstanding DPW employees, and I would just like to recognize them again this evening. Um, from the Water and Sewer Department, it was Zach Mead. From the Parks Department, Steve Russo. From Central Garage was Scott Delaney. From the Highway Department was Rick DiPaolo. And my outstanding DPW leader this year was Highway Supervisor Mike Lomick. So I just want to give them recognition. Um, from the OEM side, the uh, parade again went very well. Thanks to the Chief, of course, um, and Joe Andre. Um, we're wrapping up the holiday season so far on eventful. And let's hope that we stay that way. Um, I want to thank, special thanks to Roger Serrano and Town Board for all of their support in uh, 2022, and we're looking forward to a very productive 2023. And as everyone has already said, um, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Happy Kwanzaa to all, and uh, we're looking forward to the um, menorah and the kunorah lighting and ceremonies, and we'll take part in those too. So thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe. Thank you, Commissioner. Chief, you're up. You're going to end with me and Scrooge at the end of the night talking about crime and traffic safety and all those things. The roads are very dangerous tonight as they're going to be going to the winter season. So we encourage everyone to be careful on the roadways. As uh, Councilman Valentin mentioned, be especially uh, diligent with respect to parking overnight. It really hampers DPW's efforts to remove some ice from the roadway. The supervisor, congratulations for the end of your first term, uh, first year, sorry. Um, you're doing a great job. It was, it was wonderful. You know, we in the police department had a particularly challenging year with respect to violent crime, and there was no secret about that. Nonetheless, uh, our investigators working with our colleagues at state and federal level have done a tremendous job solving very complicated and most serious heinous crimes we've seen in quite some time here in town. So it's under your
Madam Clerk, can you can you hear us? Okay. So so as of today, for those people, I know that people are still getting sick, and um I I've run into people that are actually paying for test after as of today. If you go, the government will send um four COVID tests free to your house. If you go into covidtest.com.gov and um, plug in your address and you can get those tests free. Also, um, for those folks that are on Medicare, you can go in and get a free test from any pharmacy. If the pharmacy doesn't um, give it to you for free, Medicare will, will reimburse you that, that fee that you pay for that. But um, go out there and get the free test. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Be safe. Thank you. Um, one last thing. Uh, this past week, last week, I had the opportunity to attend a uh, human rights conference in Newburgh. Um, it was a very good conference held by the Orange County Human Rights. And I'm looking forward to working with them and bringing out town into, um, into what I've uh, residents, which is becoming really diverse. So I just want to add that with that. A public participation and by the audience, I see none. Anyone on Zoom? I see none. With that, I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Have a good time. Be safe.